Welcome to another Alfresco video. We are talking today about Alfresco Docker images. Since you are using that Docker images that are available in uh, Docker registries from your Docker Compose templates or from your Helm charts, this session is devoted to building Alfresco Docker images by using the source code or the um, Maven uh, repository from Alfresco that is available in nexus.alfresco.com. So we are reviewing all the process so you can just understand how to build from scratch all your Docker images. You can use that for tailoring purposes or uh, for, um, just to get some Docker images for your ARRM64 architecture. So um, you can uh, use this information in order to adapt the default Docker images to your needs. So let's start reviewing the um, the different Docker images that are used by uh, Alfresco. So yes, note that all the source code, so all the Docker files are available in GitHub, in the Alfresco GitHub account, in different projects. We are going to review in this session that different projects that are including these uh, different Docker files that you uh, need in order to build the final repo, search, search, active and and transfer core Docker images. But the first thing is that many of them are using this base Java Docker image that is mainly built on top of Vent OS. So with this image, we are building something that is going to be the base from the different Docker images. Um, after that, we can use also, or we are using also some base Tomcat Docker image that as used by the repo and ser Docker images. And we have an intermediate step with the base repo uh, Docker image that is used to build the, the repo one. And also the search, active and queue, and transfer core Docker images are using as base this uh, Java image based on CentOS. And finally, once we have every of them built, we are pushing them to the Docker Hub registry. So you can find all these Docker images in Docker Hub, building them uh, in these kind of uh, steps, in these kind of layers that we are going to review in detail now. Let's start with this base Java uh, Docker image that we are using for all the uh, different Docker images, these final Docker images we are producing. So you can find this uh, Docker file in the Alfresco Docker base Java uh, project. And remember that you can also pull this Docker image by using this Alfresco uh, base Java tag. If we move to the source code, this is the Alfresco Docker based Java project. You will find this Docker file, and we have this uh, distrib name and distrib major that it's uh, the labels for the Java image. So we can use Java 8 or Java 11. Mainly we are using Java 11, but you can build your uh, Docker, uh, your base Java Docker image by uh, choosing this distribution name and distribution major version for Java. This is a multi-layer Docker file. So we have uh, different uh, layers for, for Ubuntu, Debian, and, and the, the one from UBI, and also for CentOS. So we are mainly using CentOS, CentOS 7.9, CentOS, and we are adding some uh, local uh, properties uh, in the distribution just to provide the UTF uh, compatibility. And after that, we are installing the Java, in this case, the OpenJDK in this uh, uh, CentOS uh, operative system. So with that, we have the, um, we have the Docker image ready uh, to be used for, from different other Docker images. We are doing this in that way because we can then uh, just control that all the different Docker images are using exactly the same CentOS and the same Java version. And uh, this, we are just taking care that these versions uh, are free of vulnerabilities, at least at, of known vulnerabilities. So everyone is using exactly the same uh, base. You can find the instructions on how to build that for Java 8, for Java 11, 
for the different operating systems and so on. So you need to build that just using this build arc uh, in this project. And after that, the Docker uh, image is, is ready to be used. So this is the starting from everything, the Docker file that is used by every Docker image in Alfresco. If you want to uh, create your custom Docker image, just need to uh, create something that is using uh, the that is using Java in your um, Linux operating system, and it will be more or less the same thing we are doing for this use case. So let's move to the next one. Once we have the base Java Docker image ready, mainly based in CentOS, we need to build the base Tomcat. This base Tomcat that is relying on Tomcat 9 is used for both repo and share Docker images. If we uh, go to the GitHub uh, Alfresco account, we found this uh, Alfresco Docker base Tomcat uh, project, and inside we can find the Docker file. And also you uh, can pull this Docker image from the, uh, by using this stack from the Docker Hub public registry. If we move to the code, then we can see in that Alfresco Docker base image, uh, again, a different multi-layer depending on the uh, version and the operative system uh, you uh, choose before and also related on the version of Tomcat and on the version of Java that you select. After that, we are just installing uh, Tomcat and uh, creating some uh, different configuration for, for, the, for Tomcat. And uh, finally, we are labeling the version, we are creating some uh, specific configuration, and again, we are uh, ready uh, to get the Alfresco base Java uh, Docker image that will be used by all the uh, other uh, Docker images. And once we have the base Java and the base Tomcat, so uh, this base Tomcat is including also the Java uh, Docker image. So this is uh, an extension of the Docker image. We can go to the repo. And the repo is built into different states. So in the first one, we are building the base repo. And after that, we are building the final Docker repo image. So in the Alfresco community repo, you can find the Docker, the original Docker file for that. So let's move into it again. Remember that you can pull that for the Docker Hub from the Docker Hub public uh, repository. But if we move to the Alfresco community repo uh, project, we can see that we are starting from the uh, Alfresco based Tomcat that is including Tomcat 9, Java 11, and CentOS 7. We are creating the Alfresco user and just setting the Tomcat directory. We are creating also some uh, directories and, and, and some files that are required by default. After that, we are copying all the resources from this project to the, uh, to the image. So we are adding at this point the Alfresco war information, some connectors, the Alfresco MMNT for the apply arms and so on, licenses and the key store. Uh, we are also creating the share no other folder. We are copying also some uh, arms, some add-ons that uh, may be um, ready for this uh, configuration. And we are copying also the uh, apply amps uh, tool that is relying on this Alfresco MMNT application. We are applying some uh, configuration for the log file, and we are adding also some permissions and installing some required libraries in the system. After that, we are just creating the right, the right users and the right structure for uh, all the different directories. And finally, we are just uh, setting the user we created uh, in order to execute this uh, Docker image. So we are not executing the Docker image as root, but with the user we created. So again, all these operations uh, can be uh, can be done with some other uh, ways. If you want to uh, create your custom Docker image uh, by using a different 
Java version, uh, Java 11 is required, or a different operating system, then you can do that with your uh, own uh, customization. But this is what Alfresco is providing by default for the Alfresco uh, repository Docker image. We have seen how this base repo is built, and now we can move to the repository, to the final repository uh, Docker uh, image building that happens in this ACS community packaging. So we are starting from the previous one, and we are adding some other resources like the API Explorer War, the SER services AMP that is required if you are using SER, and we are installing all these, uh, these AMPs on the Alfresco War. And finally, we are creating some additional um, permissions on that. And finally, again, we are starting the Docker image with the Alfresco uh, user we created before. So with that, with that layers, remember that we have the base Java, the base Tomcat, the base repo, and finally the repo. We are building the final um, Docker image for the Alfresco content repository. So you can pull that by using Alfresco, Alfresco content repository community by using the Docker Hub registry. So with that tools, now you are able to produce your customized um, Docker image for the uh, content repository. We are going to see later an alternative way of doing that because we are building all the source code, but you can use also the uh, ready to, uh, to deploy artifact from Nexus, but this will be covered later. So uh, with that, yes, let's move to the next one. The next Docker image is the SER application, and this SER application is also relying on the Tomcat and Java base image. So with that, we can just go to the Alfresco community SER project, and the Docker file is stored in this uh, Alfresco project. And remember that you can pull again this with Alfresco Alfresco SER from the Docker Hub registry. So in this case, in this Alfresco community SER project, we have also the same uh, base, so Alfresco Tomcat 9 with Java 11 and CentOS 7. We are creating some directories that are required for extensions and so on. We are also uh, copying the SER application, the SER uh, web application uh, to the uh, deploy folder in Tomcat. We are also uh, copying some uh, resources to that uh, directories. We are creating the default configuration for SER and so on. And we are also adding the uh, SER loader folder to Tonka. Finally, we are creating some additional script in order to provide some customization to the Docker image. And we are applying all the AMPs that we copied before. And with that, we can uh, expose this SER uh, Docker image and it will be ready to be used. If we move to the search services Docker image, then we can see that this uh, image is not relying on Tomcat since search services is relying on Solar and Solar is using the Jetty server instead of Tomcat in order to deploy the application. So we are using the base Java with the CentOS, but creating some uh, custom configuration for that Yeti server. Uh, the name or the, the tag for that is Alfresco Search Services in our Docker Hub registry. And if we move to the Search Services project, that is the one holding this Docker file that is used to build the Docker image, we can find that this is relying on Java 11 and CentOS 7. We are creating some configuration, uh, some folder configuration and some environment variables for the Docker image, also creating the username. And we are copying, uh, we are installing some resources that are required for Solar or for Jetty to run. We are copying again some tools to the, to the, to the Docker image. And uh, we are exposing also this uh, by using the default port for Solar. So we are also uh, copying. Uh, the um the search services uh war application at this stage 
And with that, we are also adding some um, your kit resources if you want to use that, but this is not required at all. But with that, we are just starting solar with all the parameters and all the uh, search services, uh, sorry, for all the search services source code that is available at this point. And again, you are ready uh, to use the solar service from the Docker image. We are almost there, so we are going to see now the active NQ. Remember that the active NQ is used for asynchronous events, is used for these messages that are happening in the platform and that you can use from the auto process SDK, from the events SDK, from Alfresco. And uh, this uh, Docker image is built from this uh, Alfresco Docker Active NQ project. You can use this tag in order to pull the Docker image from the uh, Docker Hub registry. And again, if we go to the Docker file, we can see that we are starting exactly from the same Java and CentOS uh, 7. We are adding some information to the environment and we are uh, deploying the ActiveNQ uh, product to it and adding some default configuration, exposing the ports and we are ready to run. So again, remember that you can create your own just by using this uh, default configuration that we are providing. And the last Docker image we are covering today is the Transform Core Docker image. So uh, this image, you can found, find the Docker file for this uh, Docker image in the Alfresco Transform Core project. And again, remember that you can pull that by using the Alfresco Transform Core AEO all-in-one uh, tag from the Docker Hub registry. So if we move to the, to the project, then we can find this Docker file. And in the Docker file, again, we are using the Alfresco base Java 11 with CentOS 7. We are including some information from the Magimagic, LibreOffice, uh, PDFune, the PDF renderer tool, and so on. We are installing all the required software, LibreOffice, Magimagic, and so on. We are copying some information uh, that uh, is required for the product. We are adding the groups. We are creating the user and we are generating the entry point for that. So uh, this, uh, this uh, project can be also deployed by parts. So you have a small services that can be deployed uh, um, as a separate Docker image, but we are focusing on that because for a regular community uh, installation, this is enough. So this is all the installation of the tools that are required for the transform engine to run. Again, you can create your own, you can just uh, build something different if you want, uh, but this is the original uh, source code that you will find in the official Docker image from Alfresco. If you are using the enterprise version, the one for paying customers that include the lightest patches and the lightest uh, security uh, measures on the platform, then it's more or less the same thing. So you have uh, the same uh, structure, the same uh, Docker images, but uh, they include some different tags and they include a different uh, Docker um, registry. In this case, the Docker registry is protected. It's only for uh, customers and we are not using Docker, but Quay. So uh, you can get your credentials uh, from, from Alfresco support and you can get your, you can pull your Docker images from a uh, Red Hat instead of from the Docker Hub. Also, you will find all the uh, Docker files in our private GitHub repositories. Remember that every artifact in Nexus is including the source files, so you can download that source files and find the Docker file that is generating this uh, enterprise Docker image on it. So it's the same thing if you are moving from community to enterprise, just use this new Docker registry and just uh, replace your, um, your tags in your Docker Compose, in your Helm deployment by, to, in order to use that new ones. And that should be enough. With that, you can easily migrate from community to enterprise just using the new Docker images that are provided by, uh, by this uh, this mechanic.
Um, but as, as we were talking before, this is not the only way you can build doc Alfresco Docker images. So obviously you can start from the source code and you can build everything. You can build your Docker images, but you can use also this other approach. In this case, I'm using this project from Axel Faust. Everyone knows Axel Foss in the Afresco community. So he's creating this Acosix Docker Afresco project that includes some basic uh, Docker images for different versions of the product. So the Alfresco repository Java 1 is including uh, this Docker file that is doing more or less the same. If you see this is uh, including the open uh, JDK, he also create a base uh, Java image. And after that, he's just including all the different uh, information from the product and deploying that manually. And in this case, he's not building the source code from scratch, but he is downloading the artifacts from Maven, from, from the Nexus repository. So you don't need to build all the Docker, uh, all the, sorry, all the Maven projects, but you can just download the uh, zip distribution files from Nexus and just deploy that to your, um, to your mm, Docker image. So uh, with that, we covered almost every different way of building Alfresco Docker images. I hope that was useful. And let us know if that was something that you are using in your day-a-day. -day. Thanks. Bye.